What's up, everyone? Nethervoid back with Factorio Episode 7. Just finishing up the defenses, like we were, le uh, that's where we left off on the last episode. Uh, one thing I want to do is queue up a lot more furnaces. I noticed I have 16 after picking all that up. We want a way, way more furnaces. Probably like at least 24, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I'm going to actually want about 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We want tons of furnaces for this next piece. You'll see why in a little bit. So let's get going on producing our uh, defenses here. Just finishing them up. We'll be completely done after that, which will be pretty awesome. Let's put this down here. Okay, so why, why aren't those in there? Yeah, okay. So let's get to it. Let's finish these defenses up, and we'll be completely done and ready to move on. So I think the way we're going to do it is right there. We're going to want this right there. Uh, that means we're going to have to clear this stuff out a little bit. That's okay. We'll work on this as we go. So, again, we're going to want to get some of these hooked up pretty much right away because we could get attacked at any second. And uh, is that... Oh, my God, that's perfect where it needs to be. That's just... I love that. This one's one down. Let's see. There we go. Why don't we hook these guys up before we go any further? Because if we get an attack, it's going to be right here. Okay, so we have fuel, fluid handling. We're going to go for sulfur next. Uh, this is going to help us with our uh, production here of um, with oil processing. Again, we're going to be doing that pretty much. Next, that, that's the next project. Whether or not that's next episode, pff, I don't know. So why don't we do this? I kind of like that better. That's a little bit faster. There we go. We're going to run out of ammo. We don't have enough. Why don't we go get some more ammo real quick? That is not right. Is that right? Yeah, I guess that is right, isn't it? Let's draw down the wall here. No, because then they're going to attack these guys. Well, I guess I don't care if they attack those guys. So this is what I didn't want. See how that wall is going to have to be way over there? Well, it can be right there, I think. Because I, I don't think they can get to that turret. The main thing is they can't damage the turret directly. That's to try to go through the wall. And uh, that wall is pretty tough, so it's going to be really hard to get through. So let's do that. Start the wall there. Go over here, get, um, what do we need? Probably need to refill the science, I'm sure. I think we have enough walls. Uh, yeah, I think we have enough. Looks like green science is good. Let's put a few more packs in there just in case. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. There we go. There are 50 packs in there now. Let's grab those out. And these are gone. Again, we got to be really careful because we're probably going to be running out of plates here. Yeah, we're mainly producing uh, the green science packs, which is fine. We have 150 transport belts. I'm just going to put a couple of my transport belts in there and see if we can just get this thing moving. Let's put, let's put like that many. Because it's just using gears. That'll be fine. Okay, I think we have enough. We needed ammo, didn't we? There. Tons of ammo. All right, we're definitely almost out of plates, so we really need to get this thing moving. We're just about ready to put that Intelligent Forge in, and once that's in, uh, we'll be back up in business, so I'm not too concerned uh, with it right now. Let's pick these dudes up. We don't need them anymore, and we'll finish up uh, setting down these turrets. Again, the hardest part is setting them up, and then when I get uh, laser turrets, I won't have to do this ever again, so it's not going to be that big a deal. All right, we're definitely going to need all this area cleared. There we go. So I am putting, I don't know if you probably noticed, I am putting a lot of stuff over the top of this copper, but I'm not going to need this this copper for a long, long time, so I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. Um, I can just pull up these turrets and move them forward. It's not a huge deal, which I'll be doing that before I need this copper anyway, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the one cool thing about our new forge, it's going to have a super huge throughput, which is going to, that's not right, it's going to keep us in plates. Like, it doesn't matter what kind of massive projects we have. As you add more and more automation, you need more throughput. Um, it Well, I guess it, it really depends on how fast you're building. Also, what you're building, the more automated stuff seems to take more resources. So you're going to need a faster production line of plates, of basically raw resources. Um, and so this new intelligent forge will help us out a lot with that. Then we're definitely going to be chugging through the resources. So, all right, we're good with trees. Let's maybe clear this one out just for just for kicks. And this, yeah, this is definitely a lot uh, more of a more of an area I thought than I thought we would need. In fact, I'm going to plug it right there. Why don't we do this? 
let's we're gonna stop it right there all right so let's finish this off we actually might not have enough wall I kinda think we do but I don't hope we do we don't want to run over there and get more wall are we on our next stack yet mm, we're there yeah we're on our last stack I think we're gonna make it mm, please make it uh, yeah I think we're good yep one more all right, let me go on the inside this time. Boom! Our defense. Oh no, our defenses. Well, they're they look set up, but they're not. <laughs> they're not set up yet. All right, let's just put all the ammo in. Very tedious process. Again, it's very tedious in the beginning, but it's really worth it. Again, like I said, I was on my um, test testing this some stuff out for hours and hours and didn't really nothing. Nothing broke through or ruined my base or anything. Uh, uh, let's do this. Let's make sure this guy uh, has what he need. Oh, I still have that other armor on me. I should just chuck that. Because I don't need it anymore. I have the better armor. You know, I kind of feel like the the armor you have, the like heavier armor, should like weigh you down a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. Everybody's like, no, you nether, you ass. Um, so anyway, there. Defenses are done, finally. 25 minutes left to finish this up. And we are okay on plates. Not great, but we're okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this down a little bit. Because the problem I think I'm going to have is I have no space here. So if I need to adjust this at all, I'm not going to have any space before that splitter happens, right? So what I'm going to do is move this piece down a little bit. That way it will give me some space for, for later. So let's bring this down a tiny bit before I start actually doing uh, my forges here. Also, uh, maybe one more down. So what I'm going to do is set up some forges. It's so basically the way it's going to work. And let me look at my notes. I have notes for this thing. All right, so I need, let's see. Um, I might as well just start the first piece. I need some splitters, right? Oh, no, I don't want that. Let's get those splitters out. We're going to need more than this, too. We're going to need way more splitters. But if we split it here, we need four spaces on the other side of this. So maybe we should split it here. That'll be our first split. So I'm going to keep using these fast belts because the throughput on them is so high. And I'm not sure how much throughput we're going to need. So there's the coal coming in. We're going to need forges pretty much right here. Uh, it looks like there's one space in between. Yeah. I actually don't even need that space, do I? I don't. I can make it even more compact. That's probably a good idea. Why don't we do this? I'm gonna, I can put it right here. So there are going to be 12 forges going this direction. Actually, no, I wanted to do it up and down, didn't I? There's horizontal and vertical ways to do this, and I was going to do it horizontal, but I decided to do it. Oh, I just put the splitter in the wrong spot. That's all. All right, well, let's get that. I'm going to have all this coal filling up my inventory yet again. So I'm going to turn this thing, let's just say right here. We'll turn it right there. Because that left me a little bit of space. Maybe maybe we'll do it right there. There we go. So my first splitter will be here. Oops, yeah, that can't be there. And then I'm going to go down from here. So I can always extend it back up if it's you know not giving me that much space. So what do we need? We need... Oh, this is too close. That's right. We need to go outbound with this. So let's pick all this... Yeah, that's okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> This is the outbound has to, to go right up against this piece. So the outbound is going to be going this direction. We'll just lay that out. I have no idea where it's going to go. We're going to need um, inserter, and then we're going to need forges. So let's cue off that. Inserter, then a forge. See, this is going to turn this way, split. We're going to need that, and then it can be the splitter can be right above this. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. It's going to look like this for the first splitter. Like that, I believe. Let's test it. Nope, we can't run it right there. It's got to run right there. So the splitter will be there. So that's okay, we'll run that. That's going to be the input, obviously. So let's get the splitter back out. The splitter will be there, which makes the input of these coming in here. Let's see. Oops. And get it again. There we go. Wait, what are you doing? Why aren't you turning? Oh, because it's backward, moron. Alright. 
There we go. And then this guy goes straight into that one. There. Okay, so here's our first line. That is where the forges will be. So I want one, two, three, four, five. Well, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just do eight for now. I kind of want a line of 12. We'll do eight. Once we get that set up, no, because I actually want the output set up correctly, right? Let's change this line. It really only needs to go to here. But I don't want, I want it to be on that side, right? And that's on that side. Oh, I know how I can do it. Just like this. And then run it into this. There. Come on. Busy here. Oh, what? Oh, there's, <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's get these guys hooked up. Everybody's going to complain. There we go. So we've got more space here. And it's going to flow right over our iron, isn't it? Hmm. Because I don't want to extend down, because if I have to extend down, I'm going to have to move all these lines. It's really not what I want to do. Hmm. I don't feel like we have a choice. I think eight's going to have to be it, so that's fine. Ran out of science already, and we're out of science packs. We're done. So we really need to get this thing up and running. So let's just finish this. Let's just finish our forge. So the way this forge works is it's going to be kind of expandable. So I'm going to run this first line, and we're just going to get all this set up, and then we're going to start running it. I'm going to, I'm going to set it all up, and then we'll run it. So I'm going to run it all over this direction, and then back up this way. Actually, no, I should run these down this way and back up that way. That's not a bad idea. And I can just keep, I'll have to keep moving it over, though. That suck. Yeah. It should be going that way and then outbound going that way. Let's do that. We're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to change this a little bit. Because what I want... Because outbound is going to be this way. But I want outbound going that way. You'll see why in a minute. So let's pick... The, actually, no, we don't need to pick that up. That's going to be our, our input, right? That's our input. There we go. And that means we can do it in from here. There we go. And turn that guy. There, good show, good show, matey. Okay, so if that's all set up again, we're going to run inputs this direction, which means outbound is going to be over here, and we got to move these. Okay, so that means, what are we going to do? We're going to bring this down here. Actually, I probably should set up the outbound first. Let's set up the outbound first. All right, so outbound is going to be this direction. I'm going to leave it a little bit of space, remember? So I got input, and then I've got a line this direction. So there's going to be two of these. So outbound is going to be right here, coming up this way. And I'll make it turn right here, like that. So outbound, if it's going up that way, Okay, I don't need that. I just need to do that. Okay, so it's going to turn right there, which means it's going to be going this direction. That's outbound. This is, These are forges, and then we're going to have more outbound this way, right? We can just... We'll have to pick this up because I have to do some special stuff with this, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to have forges. We need eight of them. That's why I'm doing this. So the, can the forges be... Mm, no. The forges can't be right up against it. they got to be right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go over the iron a little bit. I'm not going to be too concerned with it. We're going to have to move these to up here because this is going to be this is going to be uh, in our way a little bit. Um, it just is what it is. Probably, maybe we can just do four on this side. We'll just do, expand the other side. All right, so we're just going to do four on that side. It's fine. Uh, no, I want. You know what we're going to do is we're going to do this. For now, there we go, because I'm using this pretty much all the time. Uh, but we will set that up two, three, four, because we need to set up the next line. So we're gonna have stuff coming in this direction, right? That's pretty standard. Down to here. Then we're gonna have another set of these forges, and these are actually ones that I will want to keep. So like that, and then we're gonna create another line going this way. Right. 
So what I'm going to do with these is these forges aren't going to care what kind of ore they get. So that was kind of an not an issue, but that was with my last furnace forge setup. Every forge was for a specific kind of ore. This is going to be ambiguous. It's not going to care. Um, it doesn't care what ore comes in. It's going to get all of its coal just like it's supposed to, uh, and it's just not going to care. And then we're going to set it up to be really smart to uh, – why can't I see those? Alt? Yeah, there you go. Uh, basically, it's going to start pumping out ore as we need plates for that type of metal. So um, that way, the forges are going to run primarily for the metal that we need at the time. Um, and we need – Oh, we can run this right up against that because we don't care. Mm, yeah, I don't think we care. Mm. Let's see. Do we care? I don't think so. Those can run down one more. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to turn that one. So we only go over a few pieces of iron. It's not that big of a deal. Then we're going to split off right there, aren't we? Yeah. So this is going to be our splitter. Right there, actually. And then he's going to do that. There, now these guys have coal, right? So let's do it also on this side. Are we running out of these things? We're going to do something like that for outbound. And then that turns here. Now let's set up some some uh, some of these inserters. We just need red, regular inserters. It doesn't have to be, you know, any fancy stuff or anything. Kind of have to hurry up and get this set up, though. And these will be input, obviously. Actually, we're going to have to do input on this side because of this, right? Like that. Okay. We're going to need one more of these. There. All right, so that's that. Now, when we, when we go to the next line, so this guy's going to run directly into this. The outbound's going to run directly into this. Okay, this is going to be out for everything. But the way we have to work this is we have to make it so we can fit more. We have to compact up this um, belt, right? It's going to get full of crap. But we want to get as many pieces on this belt as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. So what's going to happen is these are going to come out on this outside path. Oh, they're going to stay on the outside path. I don't need to do this yet. Actually, this is going to already work perfect. I don't have to do anything. But I do need to load balance it. So what we're going to do is we're going to load balance this line. Load balancing means spread out uh, the workload. Okay, We're going to spread the workload out on this belt. Because there might be tons of uh, plates coming off this first line, and this second line, or third line, or whatever, might not be as packed. Actually, probably what's going to happen is this line is going to be jam-packed. Uh, or this line is going to be really sparse, and this is going to be jam-packed because it has two furnaces empty, two sets of furnaces emptying out into this line. So this line is going to be really packed. And we're going to be, a lot of our um, belt capacity is going to be unused. So what we're going to do is rebalance that, that belt. So the way I had it set up was this. The way I had it, and I tested it, and it worked. And it was really awesome. And it goes like this and like this. That will balance that line. So it's going to come in. There's going to be tons of plates on the top piece here and hardly anything on this bottom one or top one and tons on the bottom one, and this will rebalance it all so it's going to be a pretty even uh, belt at this point. Um, and then what we're going to do is because we're going to set up some more forges, so we need well, we need a line in here, don't we? This is where we need to pick up some of this other line. That's fine. We don't care. We don't need any of this stuff anyway. Uh, we need some more line coming in. It's going to come to there as usual, as the other line did. And then another output, right? So forge, forge, do this, right up to this. So this one, we will turn this way, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, yeah, that's the correct direction. So what, what we're doing here is this belt is going to be jam-packed. I don't want to hold this belt up from dumping off items. I want them to flow in together. This is going to back this up a little bit, but that's fine. I don't really care. The main thing is I don't want to back up these furnaces from trying to dump out their items as quick as they possibly can. Uh, and then we're going to balance it again right here. So let's pick this up and move it over a little bit. We're going to balance it one last time right here. So again, we, we do have some issue here, but we're going to fix it pretty much right away. Oops, that's not what I want. We're going to have to move this dude again. Oh, that works. Okay. 
Again, now we're going to do it this way and back. And that's it. Now we're going to run this stuff down into some chests. Actually, we're doing this backward. Oh, no, we're not. I want them to run down that way. So we're going to set those up. Let's give us plenty ourselves plenty of space right here. I don't know how much we're going to need. So let's give ourselves plenty of space for the, the next piece of this. So the next piece of this is setting up these smart chests. We're going to want four each. Four for iron, four for copper. Okay? And I'll tell you what they do. They work with those smart um, inserters and the smart and the circuit network, basically. We're going to reroute these power poles. Do we have... Uh, we do, don't we? The ability to make those new kinds of... Yes, we do. Medium electric poles. We're going to go with... Yeah, we'll just go with medium. Let's make a few of those medium poles. We're going to get that set up to be automated at some further time. But now we don't really need these small ones. So what I'm going to do is unhook that and put these over here because those are just way better I'll never need these small ones again I don't really don't have any other purpose they have no other purpose okay so our irons all backed up we're good to go let's take the we have some oh that's weird some coal in that one there we go and let's get working on this we have nine minutes to get this thing kinda set up so again right here we're gonna run this along like this. We're just going to keep running it along. We're going to need splitters though, so let's make a few more splitters. Let's just make four. And so what this is going to do is this is going to split 50% of this line off in this direction. Uh, I might find I don't like it this way and I bring down two lines because it's easier to balance. When I pull off a line, I'll be pulling out of two lines. It's 25%, not 50%, okay? That means the first forges to fire up is going to be this first row. Okay, and they're going to get the most materials. They're going to back up first because 50% of this capacity is going down this line. Um, there is a way to balance it back to not pull so much off, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is output, so we can leave it. This is another input, so we're going to want um, a splitter right here like that. That's all set up. This is going to be an output, so it's, it can stay there. Let's set up some more forges. Make sure, yeah, okay, we're good. There we go. Tons of capacity. Look at that. Set up some more inserters. Uh, this is the outbound. No, this is inbound. Why am I doing it there? Should be doing it over here, right? Um, let's see. I don't know. It is kind of nice to do it on the opposite side. That's outbound. Shouldn't? Oh, this is inbound. Okay, but I can't because I don't. I don't have it right there. That's why I have to do it here. Oh, wait. Wow, that was gone. I think it just destroyed it. That's why. All right, we're going to go inbound with these guys. And then we're going to go outbound over here. I think we're just going to set up these first couple of lines for now because we really need plates. And if I have to make more um, inserters, I'm really going to be pissed. It's not going to work out. How many more inserters do we have? Oh, we have 41. We have plenty. Oop, that's, these are all backward. Great. Might be easier to just pick them all up. Totally put these the wrong way. Okay, so these are in, right? This is... Wait, let's get off that. These are right. Those are right. Okay, that's good. I wonder if those were correct and I just pulled them up for no reason. That's outbound. Okay. This forge is going to be ridiculous, and it's going to be such a huge capacity. Uh, I will have to basically rebuild it um, when I get to electric furnaces, because electric furnaces are 3x3, three three, not 2x2. Two two. kind of wish they were the same size so we wouldn't have to rebuild the whole damn thing, but um, it is what it is, so nothing I can do about it. There might be a mod for that. That'd be kind of nice. And actually, making them 3x3 three three kind of is worse. It's not better. Um, it takes up more space, right? So... And in the beginning, you need you need space. You don't need as much space as you grow because you can defend more space a lot easier, right? We're gonna be putting power poles in here. Uh, we need we have those new ones though. Let's lock those in. You can as you can see, they they cover seven by seven, which is a little bit larger, and they go further. They have a further range. Um, again, the large power poles are are better for if you're trying to draw, um, you know, way you know something way out there. 
So let's do something like that to be efficient. And let's put that in here. Let's see, what are we covering here? Oh, that's good. And we can just put one here. All right, so we're going to need something for here. Right? We'll put it there, there. Oh, we're going to have to put it here. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. So there we go. Is that how we did that last one? I think we put it there. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. All right, so that's all set up. That's pretty basic. Those are all basic things. The only thing that was different was this fast transporter belt, okay? These smart chests are going to be handled. We're going to use smart inserters for these, and I don't have any more of these, right? I need eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, I didn't put this on, did I? I didn't. There, now I have the better armor on. Can't believe I didn't do that. Let's just drop this off over in this crap chest while we wait for those. So we're still getting in copper. Apparently we don't... Oh, wow, we aren't even close to full on copper. Oh, we're getting there. Kind of want all those to be completely full, but it's fine. Maybe I'll set up a couple more... Um, let's see, a couple more of these drills. Oh, that's why. This guy's almost done. 37 left. We gotta move these. So let's see. I probably want to move away from this direction now. Or no, I want to I want to mine all this out. Because so, I want to put my automated science in here. Let's move these guys. Let's just move everybody to over here. Let's see. We'll do this. It'll clean it out a little bit faster, actually. And we'll do it just like we did iron. There we go. And one more. There. Okay. I think we should do the um, copper the same way we did the iron as far as getting that belt completely filled up. So we're going to need, let's just run it this way. There. Because these are going to be, oh no, these are on that side. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. I'm going to move that. Okay, that'll work. All right. Oop, nope, that's the fast belt. We don't want that. All right, now I can turn this one. There we go. Okay, so that's actually not going to work. What we need to do is do this. Let's do this. Watch this crap. Oop, no. <laughs> that fast belt is getting me every time. All right, we're going to come out this way one, and then up here, and then we're going to do this. There we go. That'll put them on opposite sides. So let's use the new poles. Let's just power these suckers, like, pretty fast. There we go. That's not really where I wanted it. There we go. Can I cover this whole thing? Almost. Come down here. Cover these, and I think I can go up and over. Yes, I can. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so that's all set up now. The copper should be flying in. Now the next piece we need to do, we need a bunch of green and red wire. for the. This, this is from the circuit network, okay? Uh, basically, it's just copper wire, but it has red and green on it to just distinguish the differences. So I'm going to make a bunch of red. I'm going to make a bunch of green. Because they're probably going to need it. It takes a pipe. Oh, I'm, yeah, it only takes, oh, it takes an electronic circuit, too. I didn't know that. It's interesting. How do you make it? Electronic circuit and a copper cable. Okay. And then we have our smart inserters, like so, and then on this side. The, now, because we're going to have all kinds of different plates coming down here, if they're going to be all mix-matched, they're going to be, everything's going to be in there, right? we got to tell these guys, look, you need to only pick up, actually, you're, you're picking up copper only. Same with you. All these guys are copper only. Don't pick up anything else. You see iron coming down? Don't pick it up. I only want copper in these chests. And these chests are only going to be iron. So that's kind of a neat. You can put a bunch of stuff on a belt, and these guys will only pick out the exact kind of stuff you, you want them to pick out. Um, what I'll be doing, and we're almost over the time, but this thing's almost done. We'll do a part two to this. But anyway, I'm going to do that down here. You see how these like subcomponent lines? What I'll probably do 
is mix and match the lines up and then put smart smart inserters to just grab out the pieces they need not just grab anything actually it'll only grab what it needs interesting so I could do that huh anyway well I'm gonna figure out how to use those to my advantage at some point okay so what we have to do from here and I don't think I can do this with one oh I can no nope. oh I can't have, nope I'm gonna have to have two of these we are not using that pole I want to use only new poles and I don't care about those dudes only new poles you get it okay so we're gonna put one here and we're gonna run just run this thing all the way up here we only have to cover this cover this guy's covering all those we only have to cover these guys then we can just do the full range you're gonna see why this is important later we're gonna drag this over here we're gonna clean all this crap out too because I don't want to work with it so we're actually we're just gonna move straight over that connects we're gonna disconnect this we're going to put one close to over here. We're going to disconnect this stuff first. And again, again, we're going to go as far as we possibly can. Come on, pick it up. And then we're connecting over there as well. And then we're going to connect up in here. And we don't need this. Well, we probably won't need it because we're going to use these poles to cover all this stuff. See? And there's that's all we need. We can start taking these off now. Yeah, they're still getting power. I can't wait to get that thing that helps you um, get rid of this kind of crap. This, the power poles are everywhere. Okay, so we can pick this stuff up, kind of clean it up a little bit in here, because we don't want to work. We don't want the next piece. You're going to see we don't want to mess with a bunch of poles. That's what she never said. Um, but so that's going to really help. So we're out of time. I'm going to show you how to set the rest of this up. We're all ready to go at least physically. Um, I just want to set up the logic circuits next. It's going to be pretty neat. And as always, everyone, stay frosty.